Hi, I'm Tom Craven. I have wasted the last nine years. Let's find out how. When I was growing up, I never actually considered myself creative. That was always my brother. He is great. Sam has had a career being a creative for the last 10 years in some capacity, and he now goes all around the world with it. And that's amazing. I was always really the logical, sciencey mathematician. All because I couldn't draw. That's all it came down to, is I couldn't draw like Sam, and I thought I was not creative. I didn't realise at the time how wrong that was and how misguided that uh, viewpoint was. And I actually think everyone is creative in some way. It's just being able to find the medium that suits their way of being able to put it out to the world. So around nine years ago, I bought my own camera. It was only a little point and shoot. Uh, that's when I became interested in photography. And I quickly realized that that point and shoot was one, it was a very cheap one. I think it was less than 50 pounds. Um, but two, it also was just not very good anyway and it was never going to be in it. If I wanted to actually capture what I wanted to capture, I was going to have to improve my skills and also the equipment. When I had the opportunity to be able to buy a DSLR, I did. And that was in 2011 that I bought a DSLR. And the reason I bought it originally was to photograph the night sky. Um, that's all I actually bought it for was because I wanted to photograph the night sky and just get generally better pictures. This is because at university in my second year, I lived in the top floor of this house and I had a skylight uh, that was above the bed, so at night I could uh, see the stars and I wanted to be able to photograph them. I quickly realised that I didn't have the skills to do this, even though I now had the equipment to, so I had to learn how to do that. So I went out and took a lot of photos, a lot of photos on that camera, um, of just about anything that I could. That was during the summer, when I came back to university, um, I found myself being asked to photograph the student union nightlife uh, and I did that for the remainder of my time at university um, and that led on to photographing musicians um, which is where I found my passion for that and then someone just after I finished uni someone said to me that my portfolio was a bit all over the place because it was a mixture of different things from portraits to uh, wildlife, to landscapes, to music. It was all different types of photography. Um, they said, no, you just need to concentrate on really one and make your portfolio about that. So I did. And that's all I really shot since, what, 2012? I have shot over bits and pieces along the way, um, but I've basically just done music. And while I do love photographing music, I want to be able to photograph more. More, mu well, more music, but just more generally. And there's other creative ideas that I've had along the way. And because there was always that niggling idea of, maybe I shouldn't put this out because it's not music photography. And slowly but surely, I stopped photographing anything else other than musicians. And while I love being able to photograph music, I just don't get to do it enough. That's probably down to me as it is just the fact that that's the way the world works. And then even in the last year, I've wanted to do more different things, whether it was weddings or portraits or landscapes, whatever it is that I want to go and photograph. I felt like I couldn't really, or even if I did, I didn't feel like I could share them because people aren't following me for my portraits or my wedding photography or whatever else they're doing it because I've photographed some musician along the way most likely and then the doubts creep in of whether actually even if I do go and photograph something else over the music is it below par for what I've now put my standards to as a music photographer I've missed out on a lot of opportunities because of my mentality behind this of being able to just be focused on one particular area of being creative. And that's tough. To look back at my entire 20s and go, I have wasted it trying to be creative. 
and almost failed. I'd use any excuse not to post content that wasn't music related. From people who aren't going to engage with it, people aren't interested in it, that it's no good, that it's not the same standard as everything else, um, that it's boring, got the lighting slightly wrong, or the microphone was a bit quiet, this, that and the other. There was a whole host of reasons why I've not posted things that maybe I should have. And as today is my birthday and I turned 29, I've been reflecting for a large part of the last year about turning 29 and the fact that that'll be the last year that I am 20-something. Which is why I put this title as I've wasted the last nine years of my life because it almost feels like that in a certain way. And, it, and it's not just in a creative sense that there's other opportunities that I could have and probably should have taken, um, but I haven't because I didn't execute on them. I could sit here and blame mental health but in reality, that doesn't even really matter. Mental health is important. It shouldn't stop you doing something you actually really love doing. I should have got a hold of it a lot sooner than I did. So what am I gonna do now? Well, the next 366 days, because it is a leap year, I'm gonna post a new piece of creative content a day every single day. There'll be one video per week. Um, there'll be no photos or videos that you've already seen. There might be some photos that I have never shared um, or photos that I didn't edit back then but I've revisited since then. But there's not going to be anything that you've seen. There won't be any iteration of... There won't be, I'm not going to just go and take a photo that I've got and turn it black and white and post that. It's gonna be something new that you haven't seen. So why do this? Why put that pressure on myself? Why put the pressure of 366 different pieces of content? Why put that pressure on me? Well, I feel like I owe it to myself. I owe it, like the amount of content that I've probably not posted. And I feel like I need to make that up and I need to actually do it so that I can go into my 30s feeling a little bit more comfortable about how I spent my 20s. And what I'm hoping this does is it allows me to kind of let go of certain insecurities that I can post something knowing that actually it doesn't have to do well because there'll be something tomorrow. It doesn't have to be the big piece of that week or that month. It can just go and do its thing for the day, for the 24 hours that it's there. I also want it to force me to do different things over the music. Like my main passion is still music and that's what I'll always want to come back to. But when there isn't gigs, so December and January, classic science of that, that I could be doing other things there, which I'm hoping will encourage me to try new things and gain experiences and skills that I don't already have. And also to build confidence in areas that I really want to be able to do better at and actually do. For instance, video, I want to do a lot more videos. So there's gonna be at least a video a week, but it's a case of I need to start just churning them out and getting them out there, just so then I can actually start to improve because at the moment I'm seeing the videos and going, nah, I don't wanna post that, that's no good, and then not posting it at all. So where will all of these 365 or 366 posts be going? Uh, they'll be going to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. So all, all the videos will go to YouTube and then they'll be shared across all the other platforms. Uh, but all three different platforms, so the Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, they'll have all the photos um, that I post um, each one. So wherever you follow me, you'll see them hopefully. And I'm hoping this also encourages others to get out there and try and get out of any kind of creative rut that they're in. Um, to be able to uh, post a little bit more and it's because it, it's not so much about the posting it's so much about actually forcing myself to create in the first place just to be able to be creative and then get over that hump of actually it doesn't really matter how a video or a photo performs if it helps me in whatever way to be creative 
then I should just do it, shouldn't I? Same with you. If you've got any ideas, because I have got a list of about uh, 88, I think it is, uh, around there, um, but I'm probably gonna clearly need more because I need 366. So if you can let me know in the comments below, that'd be great. Thank you. If you wanna follow my videos, please subscribe to the channel. That'd be great. See ya.